Hey folks, check this out. Today we're taking a look at Snap Circuits Lite. This is an electronic kit. It's got over 175 projects and contains over 55 parts. Now, if you're not familiar with these, these, these come from back in the day. This one's a little ripped up. But what it is, is it's just a wiring kit where kids or adults even can look through this project book and then can use all the parts that are in here to make all these different kinds of projects. And I'll show you some of these in here. You've got uh, different lighting kind of things. You've got ways that you can play with sound, strobe effects, a whole assortment of electric types of projects. And the cool thing about this is if, if you're familiar at all with these, back in the day they used to have actually, you actually had the wire things. But now, the way that it works is you've got this board that you can use where you'll take your different uh, transistors and things of that nature and you can actually pop them right into the board like that and then you can, let's say we had these two next to each other like that then you could take a switch and actually snap them onto each other like that and it creates a circuit so that when you turn it on and this isn't going to work because I don't have batteries but when you turn it on anything wired to the switch would start working so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple projects for you guys so you can see exactly what it looks like when it's all in working order and uh, we'll come back to that alright so I thought I'd actually show myself putting this together since it's pretty quick now, uh, one thing I didn't mention is you need to have some AA batteries. You can have, you'll need to have four of them. Let's focus on that. So, and they go into these little dealies here. So, in this one, I'm just going to do project one. It's called Color Light. You can see here, and it tells you how to put everything together. So, uh, it's got a little grid on it and that corresponds that grid that you see there corresponds actually to where you're going to be placing your circuits at A1, 2, 3, all the way A to G and then 1 to 10 and you're just going to be matching it up with how it looks like on here so this says we have our battery on B1 to B3 so we'll go ahead and snap that in there and then we have another battery over here. Now the way that you put these together is each part of the grid is marked out by one, two, three, depending on how many steps there are to the project. So we're going to put in all the ones and then we'll step over to the twos. So this one goes on B5 to D5. So B5 to D5, like that. All right, we have a resistor that we need to put in and that goes D1 to D3 and I think that's it for the ones yeah that's it okay so we need to put our switch in which is right here and then we need a three connector right here and then we've got our color LED which is right here. I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And then there's some LED attachments you can put on here. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. Just because it's cool. I think it goes like this. There we go. We'll put that one on there. And then you can see what we're going to do here. Zoom up in there. All right. Now watch. Turn this on. There we go. Different colors. And the cool thing is, is it it explains things. So it's it's educational as well. It'll say turn on the slide switch and enjoy the light show from the color LED. And then LED actually contains separate red, green, and blue lights with a microcircuit controlling them. Cool. Who knew? So that's kind of how you would put together one of the projects. I'll go ahead and put it together another one maybe a little more advanced.
Okay, so I lied. This one actually isn't even that advanced at all. It's literally one, two, three, four, five pieces, but it is pretty cool. And I'll show you why. What you're gonna do is you, you have a different switch this time. When you push this down, it gets this motor going. And if we can get this on here, eventually, one of these days, there we go. And I'll zoom out. And you hold this down. And there we go. Come on. It should eventually lift off, I believe. Right? Maybe I have it on there too, too well. Maybe I'm lying. Okay, let's try this again. Just like that. Come on. <laughs> uh. Okay, it says if it doesn't fly, press it rapidly. Uh. All right, let's do take two. <laughs> Okay, so last time we had a little bit of a problem, but this time, listen to this. Got a little bit faster. This project's actually funny because it says, Warning, Elenco Electronics Inc. is not responsible for lost or broken fans. So apparently, this one should be flying off pretty well. I hope so, anyway. We'll zoom out. We'll give it a go. There it goes, and across the room so <laughs> there, there's that project completed I gotta go look for that fan all right so once again that was snap circuits light uh, it has hundred and eighty two projects in it total comes with everything you need to make the projects with the exception of four AA batteries that you'll need to put in yourself uh, like I said this is pretty banged up I've had it for a few years uh, but right now it's currently a little over fifty dollars, at least on Amazon. So, and it's definitely worth it, especially if you're if you have a kid who's really interested in electronics, uh, or you just want to play around with some uh, different electronic stuff, but you don't really want to get into the wiring part of it. This is a really good kit to get into. Now, if you want, they do have starter kits that are going to be be a lot less expensive and that might be a good way to get introduced to to how snap circuits work or circuitry at all and so you might want to get into those first before you step up to this particular project but that was check this out and i think this is a pretty cool little product that you should check out thanks for watching